So, the uh, instigator is over here on the stand and it's uh, got a couple more coats of true oil and it's uh, gonna let that harden up for about a week or so before I wet sand it and buff it. Um, and the next project I'm gonna work on here is one that I started a couple years ago. Um, if you've been a subscriber of mine for a couple of years or more, you might have seen the video and the backstory on this sucker right here. <clears throat> it uh, started out life as um, a Les Paul studio that I bought on eBay that somebody had routed for an Epiphone neck. And I had this neck, which was sent to me um, from Australia, from a guy on uh, uh, mylistpaul.com a long time ago. And I just had it laying around. I uh, traced it so I could make templates and uh, just decided to mount it on here. See where they blew the holes through the back for the Epiphone neck, and I patched it with uh, mahogany and a piece of maple right there, and then uh, rerouted it for this this neck tenon, and uh, as you can see. I also installed front and rear multi-limited binding. So, it's basically a Les Paul custom now. It's a little, a little thinner this way than a real Les Paul custom, but then again, it's thicker than the Les Paul custom light which was much thinner than this. And uh, got it all put together and uh, basically uh, set it aside for two years. Well, now's the time to get it up and running. Come on down to the bench. Go care package here from everybody's favorite luthier supply company. Nice Grovers. It's gonna go on there. I just bought this because I don't know. It seems like something I'd use. It's a knob puller. I don't know. Let's we'll see how it works. Um, white tusk nut. Yeah, I know. I'm being lazy. I don't feel like making a bone one. Of course, Les Paul has to have strap locks. I decided to pick up one of these ESP wrench. Especially for this monkey right here. Oh, wrong side. Well, that works really good. Jeez. Now I'm, now I'm pissed that I waited so long to buy one of these. Nice. So, I'm going to wire it up. Let me flip this over for you. Show you what's going on back here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Everything in this guitar uh, is what would normally come in it from the factory. Here we got Switchcraft Switch. It's the short one, not the real long one, but you know what? Switchcraft is Switchcraft. Let's open 
this up. Everything back in here. It's pretty much stock Gibson also. came from the uh, circuit board guitar but that's that's no big deal you just cut these off strip them back and they're wire them up just like the old ones um, it's a switchcraft output jack a lot of this stuff came out of my parts drawer which was um, parts that I stripped out of different guitars. Um, at one time I was buying a lot of this, these assembly right here off of eBay. <clears throat> I was getting them for like 20 or 30 dollars and they came with the four pots, the output jack, caps and all that. Um, so I had quite a few of those stashed away so I just pulled that out of my parts drawer, slapped it in here. So we'll be wiring that up reattach the ground I'm looking forward to doing this this guitar has been sitting on the bench over there that bench for two years gnawing at me saying finish me so I'm going to finish it. Well, not finish it, but I'm going to wire it up, get it all strung up, get her playing, all soldered up. And then uh, once that's done, it'll probably sit for another two years. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Um, then. I have a couple small spots which I need need to fill. I have a little space here. I don't even know if you can see it. It's a little space right here between the body and the binding, which I gotta fill. There's one there and one one right here. Small ones, about an inch long. And then hopefully send this thing out and get it painted. Um, I'm going to have a pro do this one. Someone more professional than me because to be honest with you, I hate spraying finish on guitars. I like making sawdust and flux smoke. I don't like spraying finish on guitars and wet sanding and buffing and I have the feelers out to uh, one YouTuber out there who mentioned in one of his videos that he, well, in, his, in the comments of one of his videos that he loves doing that. So I got some feelers out to him. Maybe I'll send it out to him, have him do it, and uh, 